bone disorders and its relation in prosthodontics hello a warm welcome from agt university i am dr sumit singh fukela from faculty of dental sciences today you will be learning bone disorders and its relation in prosthodontics hereditary disease affecting the skeletal which we define to include the craniofacial and dental structure are heterogeneous in etiology onset and severity proper formation of the skeleton and dentition requires integration of the numerous processes beginning in the early embryonic development these include patterning of the head limbs and skeletal dental elements cell migration and proliferation differentiation to specialized cell and accurate medical history should be taken before treating the patients with the bone disorders definition of the bone disease any of the disease or injuries that affect human bones disease and injuries of bone are the major cause of abnormalities of the human skeletal system hyperparathyroidism is characterized by the hypersecretion of the parathyroid hormone the loss of lamina dura is the most significant finding in patients with hyperparathyroidism there is also altered trabecular pattern with the appearance of ground glass central or peripheral giant cell tumors may also develop in the oral cavity the most common clinical manifestation includes the brown tumor that is loss of bone density mobile teeth drifting of the teeth complaint of weak jaw bone pain sensitive teeth in mastication and percussion soft tissue calcification and dental abnormalities such as developmental defects alteration in dental eruption malocclusion due to the drifting of teeth with definite spacing of the teeth may be the first sign of the disease pseudo cystic lesions can also be present radiolucent lesion at the apex of tooth misdiagnosed as the periapical cyst or the granuloma the treatment of hyperparathyroidism is the first step in the management of brown tumor as spontaneous regression of the lesion often occurs jaw enlargement is treated by recontouring of the maxilla and the mandible a three dimensional reconstruction of the computed tomography scan is helpful in evaluating the facial deformities and in the treatment planning hypoparathyroidism is a metabolic disorder characterized by low serum calcium and high serum phosphorus concentration due to the deficiency or absence of parathyroid hormone secretion the most frequent dental abnormalities are enamel hypoplasia delayed eruption and there may be multiple unerupted teeth teeth appear dull white in color with hypoplastic pitting crowns are small that is microdontia and the roots are often short with blunt ends teeth may show ankylosis the jaws are generally short and wide with high arch palate there is candidiasis of the oral mucosa and nail paresthesia of the tongue or lips and facial twitching can also occur for performing the prosthodontic treatment serum calcium levels should be determined they must be above 8 mg per 100 ml to prevent cardiac arrhythmias seizures laryngospasm or bronchospasms due to the enamel hypoplasia there is increased chances of dental caries as pulp chamber are large caries easily involve the pulp causing pulpitis which requires endodontic treatment delayed eruption and hypodontia causes malposition and has to be treated by orthodontics let's talk about osteoporosis osteoporosis is the most common disease of the bone metabolism it is the age related disorder characterized by a decrease in the bone mass increased microarchitectural deterioration and susceptibility to fracture the osteoporotic changes in the jaw are similar to all bones in the body the structure of the bone is normal due to the uncoupling of the bone resorption or formation process with emphasis on resorption the cortical plates become thinner 
the trabecular bone pattern is more discreet and advanced demineralization can also occur oral bone loss related to osteoporosis is expressed in both dentate and edentulous patients the advanced demineralization and consequent increase in bone loss of completely dentulous may become a vicious circle the denture is less secure and the patient may not be able to follow the diet needed to maintain proper calcium absorption levels although osteoporosis is a significant factor for the bone volume and density it is not a contraindication for dental prosthesis vitamin d disorders the deficiency of vitamin d in adults leads to osteomalacia it is due to the deficiency of dietary vitamin d or due to the lack of exposure to sunlight the home bound elderly patients who is unable to wear dentures or who is strict vegetarian they are more at risk anti convulsant drugs like phenobarbital may cause drug induced osteomalacia orally there is decrease in trabecular bone indistinct lamina dura and increase in chronic periodontal disease which have been reported rickets arises from defects in factors that regulate mineral ion hemostasis it manifests clinically as widening of the distal long bones often evident at the wrist knees ankles and ribs all developing permanent teeth especially first molar shows large pulp chambers short roots poorly defined lamina dura and hypoplastic alveolar ridge preventive dental procedures like topical fluoride application pit and fissure sealants should be carried in order to eliminate caries and prevent the occurrence of multiple periapical abscess along with close follow up let's talk about fibrous dysplasia fibrous dysplasia is a disorder in which fibrous connective tissue replaces the area of normal bone the condition in maxilla is twice as common as in mandible the monostotic fibrous dysplasia begins as painless progressive lesion the facial plate usually expands the teeth may move as the consequences of this progression the roots of the teeth may be displaced but external resorption is very rare there is noted increase in trabeculation which presents as mottled appearance a ground glass appearance may also be noted the polyostotic fibrous dysplasia may affect one or virtually all bones implant dentistry and other extensive prosthodontic rehabilitation procedures are contraindicated in the regions of the disorder a predisposition to fracture may occur with this disease other dental disorders associated with fibrous dysplasia are enamel hypoplasia hypomineralization dentine dysplasia odontoma parodontic pulp and high caries index let's talk about paget's disease paget's disease is a slowly progressing chronic bone disease osteoblastic activity are predominant in this disease jaws are affected in approximately 20% of the cases the maxilla is more often involved than the mandible and there is increased tooth mobility edentulous patients are unable to wear their prosthesis without discomfort radiographs reveal a cotton or wool appearance to bone bony enlargements may often be palpated intraorally spontaneous fractures are relatively common because there is increased osseous vascularity patients with paget's disease are not contraindicated for prosthesis except for implants in the region affected by the disorder multiple myeloma is a plasma cell neoplasm that originates in bone marrow oral manifestation of the disease may affect maxilla or the mandible paresthesia swelling tooth mobility may occur gingival enlargements are also possible patients with multiple myeloma are not contraindicated for prosthesis except in cases for the implants finally it can be concluded that only through careful approach we can accomplish advanced medical knowledge about rare disease of the skeletal and dentition to improve treatment for the bone disorders so 
Today we covered bone disorders and its relation in prosthodontics. Next time we meet, we will be exploring some new topic. Till then, keep learning, keep growing. See you next time.